This Math in Minute video is on the outside angle circle theorem. So I first wanted to just go over quickly um, some terminologies with circle. I do have another video that I will uh, link up in the info corner there. But when we're talking about the angle outside the circle, um, here you can see we have a circle and an angle D here is the angle that we're talking about um, getting the measurement of. The green line that is displayed, um, AB, is a secant um, that hits the circle at two points, and angle C is a tangent that hits the circle at exactly one point. The arcs, here you can see AC, is the major arc because that's the bigger arc. BC would be considered the minor arc. Um, and when you're talking about the outside angle, um, the measure of that angle is one half the major arc minus the minor arc. So just some terminology to go over. Well, let's take a look at a problem. Find the measure of angle one given that arc AB, which is our major arc, is equal to 110 degrees, and arc CD, the minor arc, is equal to 40 degrees. So we're just going to plug in our numbers into our formula. We're looking for the measure of angle 1, and that is equal to 1 half the major arc, which is 110 minus the minor arc, which is 40. We calculate what's inside the parentheses, and that would give us 70. And we take one half of that, and that's going to be the measure of our angle 1. So our measure of angle 1 is equal to 35 degrees. So basically just plugging in the information that is needed in the formula. So let's go ahead and look at another problem. Here they want us to find the arc CD. They give us that arc AB is 90 degrees and our outside angle is equal to 14. So we know the measure of the outside angle. So let's go ahead and fill in the information. So the measure of angle 1 is equal to 14. And we will put one half. Our large arc is what they give us, AB. So that's equal to 90 minus arc CD, which is what we're trying to find. So what we do here is we're going to distribute. One half times 90 is equal to 45. One half times our arc of CD is the arc CD over 2. And we already know our measure for angle 1 is 14. So we're going to go ahead and subtract. So we're going to subtract 45 from both sides. And here we're left with negative 31. This cancels. And this is equal to negative our arc over 2. To get our arc CD by itself, both of these are negative, so I want to get rid of that 2 in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2, just to get rid of that negative. So negative 2 times negative 31 is going to give me a positive 62, and this cancels, and I have my arc CD. Arc CD is equal to 62 degrees. So there you have it, plugging in the information into the formula that they give us. And that's how we can find the outside um, angle using the outside angle circle theorem. Any math topics you would like me to cover, please leave in the comments below. Please subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you next time.